I think the only way I can answer your question is to say every single word on John Swab's page was the information that I needed to have. Um, it was all really very much there of who Ida was and is and, and, and what her relationship to the others are. I was delighted when I saw the final product all together and realized how very much Ida is in fact in the movie, although she only has the small handful of scenes. Um, the way that the gentlemen um, and the young women carry her in, in, in their minds um, and hearts, is, it, it's remarkable to see. And that was a surprising delight in, in seeing the final product. Yeah, it's the same thing, you know, I hate to, uh, I hate to blow smoke, but he really just wrote a script that all the, all the given circumstances indicated uh, much of who the characters are. And uh, we had some fun, especially with, with the house, we had some fun with, uh, you know, my, my sexual preferences and how we worked that into the movie and, and, uh, and uh, the level of violence and then the level of, of family. Of, of caring, of love for, for you know, my nephew. And uh, it, it, it all just kind of synced up. And, and uh, the, way, the way John told the story and edited the film, it, it's, uh, I was like you, when I saw it, I was, I was really taken by who these people were. And you're not supposed to like them, and you do. <laughs> even Walker, who's not even in the film, but yeah. he's yeah. such a character within the yeah. film, and the love for him so kept alive by, by his family. Yeah, there was, and there was something about the police, uh, Forsyth and, and uh, Slate, there was something about them that made them questionable as opposed to, because we were doing something truthful for our family, and uh, so it was a very, very interesting dynamic. And they were doing something they're supposed to do. Right, right, against the family. Yeah. It's an interesting question because I don't find it challenging to work with John Swab. I, I find it to be grounding and um, fulfilling. And, and after working more than 35 years, my work is rarely that. But working with Swab, it's very much that. That's why I'm here today. It's why I'll go join them in Oklahoma for another one. <laughs> um, he's, he's a remarkable filmmaker and I'm very, very proud to be a part of his, his group. Look, look who I get to play with. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah it's, it's, he really is uh, a singular talent. And uh, it, is, it is an honor to come and work with him over and over again. We're going to go do another one with him, and, and we're excited about that as well. Um, but yeah, you know, for, for me, I think there's a scene where I'm, uh, there's a song, Promises, Promises, right before I, I execute the young girl. And it was, it was, John, John wanted something very specific uh, and to kind of let go and uh, and you know there's always that 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 feeling as an actor that um, am I doing too much here am I kind of and I saw the scene and I was really really happy with how he put that together and, and uh, it was it's an interesting piece of film you know I do a lot of genre movies um, and and most of them don't have messages uh, they're there for you to kind of escape for 90 minutes and a lot of them are silly but fun. But, but this m movie has something to say without forcing it down your throat uh, about, you know, the condition of middle America especially and how limited a lot of people are uh, with how they're going to live and make a living and support their families and send their kids to school and you know, take take care of the things that a lot of us take for granted, and and uh, so it's it. You know, there is that kind of again, for the lack of a better word, there is that message that you know, it, it, life, America, the beautiful, isn't necessarily that, uh, especially in certain parts of the country, and and uh, you know, sometimes good people have to do not such good things. To be here in Switzerland to have the premiere of this very American film um, for me feels incredibly important. I think that it's a aspect about the United States that's lost on a lot of the world. Everybody thinks we live in big fancy houses and we all have three cars and everybody's so comfortable and living the American dream, whatever the heck that is. And um, 
uh, America, the United States of America, is, is as complicated, if not more complicated, because of the obfuscation. Yeah. Is that a word? Um, of, of the realities, and there's a there's a hard dirt truth in the film, and so the subject matter is is it, it is it's much more than a crime family. It's an American family yeah. in the world today. Yeah, I think for me, uh, Mean Streets came to mind, and the way De Niro played his character was kind of wild, and you know you couldn't take your eyes off of him because he was so unpredictable. And I, I, I thought I thought a lot about about that about about my character in this film being unpredictable, having quiet moments, but the audience never quite knowing what he's going to do. Uh, and, and so I remember watching Mean Streets a couple of times specifically to watch De Niro's performance. I can't say that, I, I mean, I'm not much of a filmophile and I don't tend to remember film once I've seen it. It's my line of work. It's not entertainment to me. Um, so I don't really make that comparison, but honestly I feel even to rack my brain, I don't know that there's, who else is going to write this character as a woman? Most filmmakers would have had Walker in prison, and not Ida. And and um, I, I, I think that there's a truth in that story too of the maternal role in the world that is that is very lost. So I don't. I I was. That's why when you say what was the thing that I knew, it was really John Swab's vision of who this character was, his the title role of of, of Ida Red. Um, I I. I was really pleased when I read the script. <laughs>